Hey everyone, TrainGuy1969 here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at this Walther's Cornerstone Merchants Row 1. This is a kit that is comprised of a number of little shops that you can paint and add to your layout. Uh, they have Merchants Row 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and I believe even a number 6. I myself have numbers 1, 2, 4, and 5. So I'll be building those in the future and putting those online for you to see. But I also have a number of other kits from Walther's, including a old-fashioned Dairy Queen, a modern DQ Grill and Chill, which I'm actually going to convert into a Tim Hortons, uh, along with the theater and a couple other standalone buildings. So they're great little kits, fairly easy to build. This one I picked up a little over a year and a half ago. Uh, it took me a little while to get it all put together, but I have just finally finished it. So I thought I'd showcase this one today. So we'll just remove the box here, and there you go. So this is Merchant's Row number one. So when you get the kit, it is simply uh, put into two colors, the gray sidewalk and a brown for the brick and you can choose how you want to set it up. I chose to model mine very similarly to what it shows on the actual box. Uh, it took a long time to do because of course this is all hand painted. I did do a primer. I used a brown primer uh, that uh, I used because of course I'm using acrylic paints and I find that the primer helps the acrylic paints stick to the plastic a whole lot better. But you can see the detail work in this one. And we'll turn it around here, take a look at some of the side detail, and of course the back detail. And I've seen a number of these online on other people's videos. Uh, you can pretty much choose to paint them as you wish. This being one of the earlier kits, I think it doesn't have quite the same amount of detail as some of the newer ones, but overall not too bad. like the little sidewalk. I would have liked to have seen the sidewalk come in one piece as opposed to three pieces. I find it's not as easy to attach it because it just does, as you see here, just kind of slides in the front. I found it a little difficult to get it glued on, so right now I just have it sitting on it. It does come with a number of different signs that you can attach to the buildings, so if you want to make one of these a drugstore, maybe another one a pet store, a clothing store, a lawyer's office, whatever it is you want them to be. It includes a number of signs and decals that you can add to it. I simply haven't done that yet because I haven't quite made up in my mind how I'm going to uh, end up having this one in the end. So we'll give you one more quick look here. I've seen a lot of people will take these and they'll either put interiors in them or they'll glue 3D printed images into the windows to give it sort of that 3D look. Overall, I'm very happy with the building. I think it'll be a great addition to a layout in the future. And again, fairly simple to do. I hope you enjoyed the video. Take care. We'll see you again real soon.